Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palska, International Nail Artisan Educator and today we are going to learn some one-stroke technique. You can have a preview of the designs which we will create today. Absolutely amazing and I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up uh, on this channel and also there is um, over 500 videos guys. Can you believe over 500 videos in total? Uh, I'm so shocked like you know we're just putting them up and, and then I realized so we've got so many. So don't forget to check them in as well. If there is any subject you are interested on so say um, how to file the nails, palitska, how to put the forms on, how to do one stroke, how to do ombre, how to encapsulate the glitter, how to paint butterfly, how to paint a mushroom, how to paint a flower, anything on. Like uh, really, you have to uh, check them out uh, as well. Um, as, as I say, there is uh, over 500 tutorials in total. But anyway, let's start this beautiful uh, designs right now. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I prepare the French manicure tips, which we'll use for a one stroke. So I'm using 213, which is a light rose. It's actually quite nice for a French manicure on the natural nail um, as a very thin layer because then it is kind of nicely see-through. Uh, I'm going, just because I'm painting on white, I'm going to paint two layers of it. Um, but if you do it in a one layer, it's a really nice see-through uh, pink, giving a very natural results. Okay, so I have painted the first, uh, first layer and then I'm going to give it a cure. In the meantime, I'm going to grab the white French gel and I will clean my brush. Cameraman, I need a new brush and the reason for it is I have cured this brush in the light um, and it's not behaving nice, uh, but I will show you. I, actually, I should have replaced it ages ago, uh, the angular uh, gel brush, because I quite like painting the French manicure with it. I don't think so, you, we've got it in, no, I need the angular one. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to replace it for a future videos because uh, it, is, it isn't as nice to paint anymore. Which is a shame because it's a really nice uh, brush which makes a French manicure very quick. Okay, so I have just painted a second coat in there. and then give it a cure. So I used 213. And then we are going to use the white French gel and the angular brush to paint a French manicure. So we've got those kind of really nice and deep smile line. Normally when I do it on the client, I would use, uh, I would bath the nails uh, and then I would paint my French on the bath surface. I'm actually going to try it if it is going to give me a nice and sharp line uh, over the gel polish without of buffing it, um, because I'm curious. <laughs> so normally I don't like those slidey surface. Uh, I prefer it uh, to kind of uh, have no inhibition layer because then my, um, French kind of stops where I want, but I can see it as behaving nice, so that's have saved me quite a lot of time. Okay, I'm starting uh, indicating where my smile line is at the corner of the smile line, and then I'm going into the V-shape. And because the brush is quite large, it's not as time-consuming to do it uh, if we would do it with the smaller brush. And then going into the other side. and indicate the corner of the smile line. You want to make sure the corners of the smile line are at the same height. So this one is a touch lower. 
um, what I did is I touched there because I wanted to remove the excess of the product. Like you don't want too much product. Working in a corner, you want the smallest possible product in there. And then you can pick up more to go into the V-shape. And what I'm doing is I'm treating it as like uh, pushing the product to the cuticle. So I'm not painting where I want, I'm kind of pushing the product to the cuticle to get a nice smile in. Okay, so I've got those V-shape and now I'm going to start closing the smile line and perfecting it. So I wanted it to close in here at this point. And then same on the other side. Make it even. And then just smooth out. Okay, once I'm happy with it, I'm going to give it a cure. And then clean my damaged brush. <laughs> it wasn't, it wouldn't be too bad, but because there is some paint stuck into it. Um, I cannot clean it and that's make the brush a bit raggy. Uh, so when it's nice and smooth, it's just a little bit easier because it doesn't make the product to go in a wavy way. <laughs> but yeah, I should bin it because then I will grab definitely a right one. Now I ha I've got my French uh, tips ready in here just to save you showing uh, through the entire um, tutorial how to do this part. So once my French is cooked, I'm just going to apply the top coat over it because for one stroke uh, painting, uh, we are using the acrylic paints and I prefer it painting on the matte surface. I don't want to use the matte top coat uh, because it has a different te texture. Like matte top coat is um, the one which we use, it has those kind of velour feel to it. And um, I still prefer those buffed look because it's much, much cleaner. So for buffing the tip, we are going to use the buffer 100 by 180, but you don't want to use overly too new buffer because then it will create lots of scratches and those scratches can get the paint to get stuck into the scratches. So you don't want that. Uh, you want the surface to be quite nice and, uh, and smooth without of too many scratches, okay? So I'm just buffing this tip. And then once this bath is ready for painting. I have not enough blue tack on this one. So I'm using the blue tack to attach my tips in there. And sometimes if I don't put enough, it doesn't it doesn't hold too strong. Now it's all all good. I've got those red tape as well, uh, double-sided tape. Uh, I don't know, I just prefer the blue tack. Okay, I'm going to clean it with the blue scrub and then we can paint those one stroke uh, flowers. So I'm going to use the color which is called magenta and they come in the nice new beautiful um, name as well. So I'm chuffed for it. I'm just squeezing a little bit of this paint Okay, and then we are also going to use a uh, pink color. Of course, the white as well. So pink, white. Try 
drop of yellow. And I'm going to mix it uh, white and yellow together to have slightly lighter shade. And then some green. And a black. <laughs> so lots of different colors so we can create a nice and uh, beautiful but also very delicate flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this. So I've got nice and light shade of yellow. And uh, we are going to start on this tip first. So I'm using the one stroke brush, level one. I've got some water in here and I quite like to have the wipe in there. I can feel it. I've got a little bit of the dry paint over it and the way the brush behaves. So I need to soften it um, and you want to pick up some water. Ideally, actually warm water is really good for this brush um, because it dissolves the the, the acrylic paints really nice. I'm just going to try it a couple times with the water I've got in here. Keep it nice and cheap and then we can start painting. I feel like with the French manicure it looks so nice. Now I want to have up some white and pink paint and then mix it. I want a drop of magenta in there as well just to get a little bit more of a deepness. And then we are going to start painting the design. So I wanted it to start on the bottom. And um, what I'm doing is I'm painting like uh, one petal in there, just like this. And then another one slightly higher. And then a couple more. Okay, so I have just painted those type of petals. And then pick up the paint again. And we are going to close it. You have to wait for the paint to dry. And I can see the bottom one isn't it dry yet. So I'm just starting with the one on the top. And I'm painting opposite. So just painting opposite to get like a small flower buds. And then pick up the paint again and do it here. Come down a little bit and then close it. And same on this one, so come down a little bit And close it. So we've got almost like a um, middle of the rose and actually that's what it is going to be. It's going to be a very simple rose. Uh, I feel like with the French manicure you don't want to go over the top. Uh, so here I will just add an extra small petal. And then here I'm going to uh, start at the angle like this and go like that. Okay, so just start at the angle and then go around it. So we've got one petal there and then exactly the same from the opposite side. And then just close it. Okay, so we have painted like a very simple basic small rose. And then the one which is on the bottom we are going to do it this side first but just make it a little bit bigger, so the more on the bottom we go, the bigger we are. And then just close it. I'm going to clean my brush and add two more petals into this bottom one. So clean the brush, pick up the fresh paint, And then add the tiniest one ever in here. So I have painted more with the tip of my brush. Another one in here. And another one in there. 
So more with the tip of the brush. Clean it. And then add some green detail. So instead of painting like a large one, uh, one stroke uh, leaves, I'm just going to add some tiny bit of the green detail with the touch of black. So I have just picked up uh, lots of water, my green with the tiniest amount of the black in there. And what we want to do it is we want to add some green parts to our flower buds. Okay, again, lots of water. And then same in here. So I'm just painting triangle shape. So the rose doesn't fly, but at the same time, I don't want too much of it. And then here, I'm just going to do a tiny wee leaves. So lots of water again. Press gentle, press hard, and then very gentle. Gentle, hard, and gentle. This way we have painted a couple of the leaves and that's it. You don't want to do it uh, much more. We are just going to outline it a little bit with white. So again, lots of water in there. I have dipped in my brush in the water so the paint doesn't dry on it. Just so it is going to be ready for the next one. And what you can do is you can highlight some white particles there. So lots of water in and just highlight it. You can even add some swirl inside. Like on this one, we will do some swirl. and highlight petals. This always makes a huge difference to one stroke. Okay, that's me happy. I'm going to make sure my brush is clean because if the paint dries on it, it will be difficult to, to remove it we, uh, at the moment because I have no access to the very hot water. And then we are going to apply the top coat over this design. So very delicate beautiful design in here. I really love it actually. One stroke and French manicure, such a beautiful collection and look what is happening when we put the top coat over it. The one stroke pops, pops out and it's even more visible and more beautiful because everything is uh, blended better. Okay, I'm just going to show you another uh, combination. So we've got a tip in here going to clean my brush and we will paint a slightly different type of the flower. So for a change I'm going to uh, grab a little bit of this yellow even more with the white and the magenta color. Mix it well and I quite like this uh, color combination. Now because of the lighting I've gotten here the paints are drying much, much faster, so I have just added a drop of the water in there. And now we can start painting some flowers. Again, I want to keep the design on the side. And we are going to start this time going a triangle shape. So I'm just touching, going to the top, coming down, and then press it harder so we've got those kind of shape. Another one on the top, just like a wee leaf, by using the same color. And then one more on the bottom, which is going to be slightly bigger. So I'm just pick up the paint again, mix it. And 
and then start straight brush go to the top touch it straight brush and then come down and when you're coming down you can kind of more massage it make it bigger uh, bigger movement I'm going to actually prolong it this side clean the brush because my paint the reason why I need to clean the brush is my paint is drying at this part here and then the brush doesn't move nice so you have to make sure you don't have too much paint stock on this part of your brush on the bottom okay and then we are going to pick up um, another layer of the paint and paint on the bottom of it so I want this to be kind of half open so I'm starting at the angle and can see yellow touch yellow I'm touching it go to the middle then leave it gap change the angle of the brush and then go to the top with the tip of my brush okay, so this way we have created completely different shape of the flower and same in here come down halfway and then go to the top and the one on the bottom we can also add a wee petal there and wee petal here I want to also add more leaves in here so I'm just picking up the paint again and then we are going to fill it up with some leaves And then we are going to add the detail so I'm just cleaning my brush and the detail for a change is going to be black so I'm picking up some black very watery black and we just color in this space here you don't want to add too much of this black uh, just a wee tiny bit because black is such a strong color that it is going to be very visible clean the brush and then we are going to do some dots for dots I'm going to use some old brush because I don't want to damage my good brush And when we add dots, we soften the black. Okay, I want also those dots. Actually, I'm going to swap it for a dotting tool. Because I want some dots to be there as well. And then the detail we don't want to outline it again too much just some places and for a change I'm not going to use a white I've got this yellow mixed with the white but I need to create a lighter shade to the original yellow we was using so I'm just mixing it well with a lot of water and we will just highlight some places if you would use just a pure white it would be too strong so I'm just highlighting places to 
too much product on my brush so I have just removed the excess and just adding detail into the leaves they could be leaves or they could be just a buds of the same flowers you need to keep introducing the water the thinner line you want to paint the less product you've got on your brush just going to add one more petal in there and to be able to do that I'm just picking up the paint mix it well and I'm going to work with the very straight brush so normally I was lying the brush and now pretty straight brush petal there pretty straight petal there okay just to make it a bit more nicer and we have created another uh, beautiful kind of exotic looking flowers we have to wait for the acrylic paints to dry the this parts everything is dry the fresh petals aren't so I'm just going to put it on the side uh, this one is actually ready I can show you one more time the roses really beautiful very delicate and then we will paint another type of flower again so for a change I'm going back to the original color we have used let me just quickly top coat it this one is dry already and you can see it how beautiful it will become so top coat and all the colors are popping okay then give it a oh, I've got dust particle there we are give it a cure I actually quite like it when there is no top coat because then the light doesn't reflect and the designs are kind of more visible as well okay let's do now um, use the one stroke level two brush so that's a demaster brush and we are going to paint a slightly smaller uh, petals what you can see it is that's the paint which I've got in here is very matte this one is still shiny the black went matte this one is kind of going matte that's mean I mean obviously we've got here like one two three four four one four lamps on uh, and they produce lots of heat so the paints are drying a little bit quicker uh, so what I did is I dip in the mixing pot into the water and I'm just going to open this um, shell of the dry paint because underneath is still quite nice and and wet okay so I'm always squeezing my brush into a nice um, flat shape when painting one stroke and now we are going to paint some uh, flowers so pick up magenta and uh, white mix it and then we will paint some flower here uh, I love this brush because it's much smaller and for someone who've got the tendency to paint quite large uh, petals and large designs uh, this is quite nice because you can go really small and you are not scared to mm, press as hard no you are not scared to press harder uh, which change the blending like if you're pressing harder you've got slightly different type of the blending on your brush and then one more petal So I have actually got quite a decent amount of the petals from the one pickup of the paint just because it wasn't as dry clean it squeeze it basically you want to feel it kind of creamy uh, consistency if you've got those creamy consistency uh, you get a uh, nice results when painting 
on the top I'm going to paint half of this flower and a little bit higher up I'm going to paint a couple more so on the top another one right down below we are painting another one so I'm just picking up the paints personally I prefer when the paint is like much uh, uh, much more blended if it's much more blended I think it looks nicer what I mean by much more blended is I like to pick up quite a long time my, my paint I like the fact that the petals and flowers are kind of more into the one side and then you can see the French manicure on the other side okay and then I'm going to ideally I would go and turn my client hand uh, opposite direction because then it's much easier to paint it but you could do it opposite side as well I just find that it is more time consuming uh, but yes it is possible so I would paint it like uh, this way but it's much easier so I would paint like this but it's much easier to just twist the client hand for me okay clean the brush and then inside of those uh, flowers I want to place a um, couple um, couple more petals but only on those big ones I'm going much lighter so I have picked up the pink and the white and the reason for it is I wanted it to kind of stand out a little bit more from magenta. And in between those empty places, I'm just painting a couple more petals. Clean the brush, add the detail to finish the design. So, oh, the liner brush, get rid of the paint which has dried in there. And dip in in green, even mix it with the yellow so you've got a slightly different shade of those green. Lots of water in. And we are going to add a couple of the leaves. I don't want to paint them with the one stroke brush because I want those leaves to be tiny. Like I don't want to bring uh, too much of those green color into this design. Uh, I really like it the fact that it is um, in a one color. Because of the French manicure you don't want to bring it too much of an extra colors. Okay, so just a tiny bit of it and then we are going to paint the middle so I've got black I my black is dry you have seen that so I don't want to use my brush to poke it the hole in it I have used the dotting tool to open the paint up and then I can pick it up black middle can also give it a black middle in here as well because it's just like a half of the flower half of the flower and a half of the flower clean your brush and swap to white pick up the white roll it and then just highlight some places again not too much Yeah, so way tiny bits and pieces. Okay, so I won't highlight this one. The one on the bottom, so it stands out. More of the places where the petals are joining in, so that you can really separate them.
and that's plenty. Brush to do a couple of the dots. And what I'm doing is I'm going around the black. Just so we tiny dots. And then I'm going to remove the previous tip, show you it one more time and put it into our display case. So my previous flowers can dry a little bit and then top coat it. And then we are going to show you one more flower. So absolutely amazing tutorials. You have to hit the share button, guys, for me. You can pin it on the Pinterest, you can share on the other social medias or with your friends uh, so they can see it as well. Because uh, it has so many different types of flowers in the one video. Okay, so the next one. And I will show you one, one more type of the flower. Again, we are going to go for those uh, one stroke level one brush. And I want to use those yellowish color with magenta because I quite like this color combination as well. Now my brush doesn't behave nice because it's too dry, so I'm just cleaning it again. Sometimes if if you don't have a time and you really want don't want to soften your brush with the water, what you could do is you could use a drop of the mm, not drop, you could dip in and Oh, acrylic monomer, uh, because acrylic monomer is uh, much more gentle for the brush than the brush cleaner or the acetone. Um, you could use uh, that. Now here we are going to paint a three petal flower. And I want to show you the veins in the flower. So I'm using slightly different motion. Now I'm kind of shaking my hand. Okay, and I've got one petal there. Pick up the paint again. And then we are going to paint another petal here. Going to the bottom. Give it a couple of shakes. And we've got second petal. I love how this uh, light yellow color blends in. So nice. And then we are going to paint sl slightly bigger one on this side. So I'm picking up yellow again, magenta, mix it. Now my paint didn't mix nice and I suggest you just clean it. And you pick up fresh. Okay, I've got nice clean fresh pick up now and I'm going to paint a much bigger petal. So give it this shake, go to the top. And then paint nice and decent size petal. On the top we want same petal, nice and big. And then once it's dry, we are going to close it. And here is another petal, just the same. And just a tiny bit of it coming out. Clean the brush. Pick up a drop more of this paint so we can close this petal. just because it's not fully open. So we have just closed it. Okay, again, we are going for a black. 
mix with magenta because you don't want it to be too strong so lots of water in there place it in the middle and then do a couple lines so when I'm doing those lines I've got almost no product on my brush this is actually almost like a training guys uh, you have to share this video for me lots of useful information there completely different types of flowers petals okay darker in there and just a tiny bit darker in here and now we are just going to finish with a couple of the dots so I've got some old brush and I'm going to add some dots in here couple more and then that's me happy wait for it to dry so I can show you this flower here so we've got another one they are so pretty and then I can put top coat over this one And then this way we have created so many beautiful designs. Gosh, I know so many different types of one-stroke flowers. I think the possibilities are completely endless um, with this technique. Uh, I'm just going to give it a quick cook and then I can show you all the final results. But please, please don't forget to uh, share this video for me. Uh, also, I would like to hear your feedback if you have enjoyed it. Um, I will really appreciate it. At the end of painting with the acrylic paints, the ones which are still wet, you can quickly wipe it off. And the ones which are dry, uh, I usually put it under hot water and then the paint kind of uh, dissolves a little bit and it's easier to take it off um, um, and clean the mixing palette. Okay, so just to actually that it didn't dry yet because it's quite fresh So it's very easy to clean it Then this tip is ready Also the products I have used today like the um, the master the one stroke level one brush acrylic paints uh, Everything is on our website, which is uh, www.dorota. Oh gosh speaking Polish English <laughs> <laughs> which is www.dorotafalicka.com uh, but that's the beautiful designs which we have created uh, today so I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now